And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. Last time we had our first death. Because of an encounter with several... Um, creatures of a certain species whose name I've actually forgotten. But they are, at least in the beginning, they are actually quite tough to fight. And I... Um, so I was killed because I... Not because... So basically, I would have been able to kill them just due to the fact that I have so much action points that they can't attack me. However, when I chose to run away, um, the game chose such a bad path pathing that it effectually uh, used up all my action points going around in a circle, which then left me standing right next to them and yeah, that was my end. And it seems that we might die a second time. We don't have enough action points. Ah. And the, yeah, the game did just just something strange. Let us end the turn. Oh. We might want to use actually a stem pack. Okay, that's maybe uh, yeah last time I just said so if you die in the this area then the choices you've made during your character creation are probably not that good. So using a stim pack here would be kind of a um, kind of mean admitting that my character actually doesn't work out, which I hope it does. Yeah. And we are very close to dying here. Mm. Very close. But we are not dead yet. The good thing about this game is that health, um... Oh, I think we have to use a stim pack now, otherwise I'm going to die. Um... Item. How do I use the... Okay, I have to go to the inventory. Um... That is end combat. Okay, you can't use use them. So you can't uh, use them in this way. We actually have to go to the inventory. Uh, and how do you? Hmm. Wait. Uh, let me. I actually don't know how to... Okay. Uh, so that's how we use them. You have... Okay. You have to go onto this screen. Uh, yes. To 
Before we died, we were on our way to Vault 13. Um, which, for some reason, is the only upper vault um, whose location is known to our people. And we hope to find a water chip there. Um, which is needed in order to get the water purification system running again. And our character, which is in this game only called the Vault Dweller, um, is basically has spent all his life in this vault and now is going out into the to the outside world for his first time. Except of course that he already did and then died, but that didn't happen because consistency and another encounter. Another and Oh, that's fan okay, that's just fantastic. Um what we have got here, if memory serves, is in fact a stealth device. So our first, okay, let me just save here. Just in case I die again. So that uh, thing that we just got allows us to a stealth boy, allows us Uh, oh, that's how you change. Yeah, allows us to well basically become invisible, and you see that it has a finite charge. Um, and I don't actually remember whether it recharges. Recharges. So maybe we shall not use it um, until I've checked that it does have indeed an infinite charge, and then maybe let us. Equip the stim pack. Yeah, you can actually equip the stim pack in this way. However, you can only equip one stim pack. Okay, let's leave. This is one of the good consequences of playing a character that has extremely high luck. Get encounters like these. Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. Please hold the weapon while you are here. Yeah, if they... So characters in this game... Definitely de um, respond to you differently whether you're holding a gun or not. So you don't want to... Um, have your gun out all the time. Good day, I am called Self. How can I help you? I'd like some information. Information? What do you want to know about? I want to know about this place. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation system, so we can grow our own food. If we were not plagued with raiders and red scorpions, we would have no problems. I want to know about the red scorpions. Those damn red scorpions have been after our Brahmin since we moved here. Not a week goes by that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to keep them out of the pens. And the text scrolled much too fast. Last week, they took my brother Jarvis. Rosler, our doctor, is looking for an antidote as quickly as he can. Hey, if you have the means to help us, why don't you talk to our leader, Aradesh? Um, <clears throat> if you click this option, on this option, you actually go directly to a combat situation, which we have no chance probably at surviving right now. So let me, so let us, I want to know more about, about this place. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. Okay, with the raiders then. There are several groups of raiders. I organize guards like Ian to help fight them off. There's one band to the southeast of here. Watch out for them. 
You should speak to Aradesh, our leader. He likes to meet all of our visitors. He should be in our town hall, the building to the south. Let me go to the option screen. Yeah, text should be a bit slower. I guess audio is okay. We're playing on normal difficulty. Um, at maximum violence level, of course. Because violence is part of the fun in this game. Welcome to Shady Sands, Traveler. My name is Katrina. My job is to greet strangers and help them understand our village. We find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Tell me more about yourself. My life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. And it's still too fast. There was a schism and many people left, taking with them the best equipment. Still, some of us tried to stay in the vault, but then we were attacked. I was hurt and I ended up here. Now I try to help people. Uh, what should I do if I get hurt? Well, if you can't get to a doctor, you'll need to heal yourself. Stim packs are a common healing item. Use them on yourself to heal minor wounds. First, it is a slow method, but it is always available. For major wounds, like a broken leg, you'll need to use your doctor skill. Uh, where was this vault of yours? It was vault 15. It is due east of here. We tried to make contact with some other vaults, but we always failed. I think it was the raiders who attacked my fellow dwellers. Be careful. Yeah, and I think our chances of finding anyone in Vault 15 are pretty slim. Where can I get some better equipment? We'll have to what we'll have to do what we do. Scavenge it or trade for it. And if you're attacked. Your house might provide equipment, if you live long enough, to loot the corpses. We are a peaceful community, so we mostly barter or trade for items that we cannot produce. Tell me more about bartering. Bartering is the exchange of good, goods. You give me some items and I give you items in trade. Since you initiate the barter, I will let you pick and choose what you want. But the deal must be one that I think I will like. So you will probably want to give me more valuable goods that you don't need in exchange for less expensive items that you want. And if you don't have enough items to trade, there are always caps. Bottle caps are the only common money found out here. The caps are backed by the merchants of the harp, so you can trade them anywhere. That's very important information. Tell me about this place. We are standing in Shady Sands. <clears throat> Sorry. We are standing in Shady Sands. We are about a small town in a large world. We just want to be left alone. Besides, some mutated animals and other creatures of the desert. Only the raiders give us trouble. Our dish is our leader. He is in a large central house if you wish to speak with him. Tell me about the rest of the world. I know very little of the outside world. I escaped from a vault when I was it was attacked. Unfortunately, I was very hurt and do not remember much of what happened. But Dharma was watching over me and I was found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. Have you spoken with Ian yet? He is a merchant guard who was hurt. He was recovering in the guardhouse over there. She points to these. He is more widely traveled than I, than I am. Okay, and when we, when we come back, folks, we will continue to speak to the people of Shady Sands. So until next time, folks, until then.